Hello! Welcome to Gaming and Journalism. G-A-J. Gay. New title. But, um, yeah, we're gonna talk about the Nintendo Direct. What the fuck is this? Hold on, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Some sort of fucking growth or what? The fuck is this? Milady? The curse has been lifted. Right, so that's that over. The curse has been lifted. No more neckbeard. So welcome to gay. Gaming and journalism. The J is pronounced like a... Gay! So Nintendo Direct happened today. I was excited. I thought to myself, ooh, I'm gonna see more of that Zelda game that I really like, right? <laughs> no, actually, I do actually like it. Most of you just didn't get the joke. If you want to know what video I'm talking about, just click this link here. Anyways. No, we didn't hear anything about the new Zelda. We heard a lot about the old Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D. Well, you asked for it, you got it. And to be honest with you, I don't give a rat's ass. I thought Majora's Mask was one of the ugliest looking games I've ever seen in my life, right next to Ocarina of Time. But that's just me. Anyways, they showed off a lot of games. And a lot of shit, basically. A lot of things I didn't give a rat's ass about. Splatoon was a good thing, though. I've been looking forward to a Splatoon for a while. When I saw it at E3, I thought to myself, this is just gonna be a basic game. I love it. Great. And then they showed the single player, and I'm like, whoa, good stuff, Nintendo. Real good stuff you got there. Other than that, the new Nintendo 3DS has been announced officially for the Western market. And they're both getting it on the same day. Friday, the 13th of February. This is gonna be a good day for Nintendo, I'm sure. It's gonna be exactly like the Wii U. People are just gonna think, oh, it's an upgrade. Well, it kind of is just an upgrade, but they, they want you to buy it, but they don't give you a good reason to, especially in the US. The US is only getting the XL edition, which doesn't feature faceplates, nor does it have the cool SNES look. But Europe, on the other hand, we get them both. And I'm gonna pre-order my normal new 3DS. Normal new 3 Small. The small one. And they showed off a bit about Amiibos. There's some new Amiibos. I'm looking forward to getting a Pac-Man one. But then I sort of realized, oh, wait. They're not gonna be doing much with uh, Amiibos from now on, are they? They showed off what would change the way you would use Amiibos. Mario Party 10. Wow. A small board with static characters, and here's the kicker. If you want to use an amiibo from your Smash Brothers saves, forget it! You have to wipe the data. Apparently this was already known when amiibos were announced, but I didn't worry about any other. I didn't pay attention to that. I just think it makes amiibos a bit less worthwhile. If Nintendo could come out, with a game like Disney Infinity or Skylanders or something like that that takes full advantage of amiibo usage. Maybe, just maybe, they could validate having them. So yeah, this video was mostly to do with gaming and not other kinds of journalism, other than, well, the Ghost in the Shell film I mentioned last episode uh, has been scheduled for 2017. Well, that's a bit far off. A lot of things can change in that time, DreamWorks. A lot of things can change. In the meantime, we got a lot of Ghost in the Shell shit coming from Japan. An MMO, fucking anime movie, and a series based on Ghost in the Shell Arise. Well, that'll keep us tight and snugly until 2017, huh? So yeah, the fact that Nintendo didn't really say much in their Nintendo Direct sort of hints towards a bit more information at E3. <laughs> we always wait for E3, and I'll be there. Not at E3, though. I'll be here. I'll make a video of it. Yeah. Just, uh... About five months away. Like. Comment. Subscribe.